Hi everybody, it's Diane. I don't think I have a lot of time. Uh, my daughter's going to be coming over probably in about 20 minutes. Um, so I'll just go till she gets here. I have been working up here in my craft room. Um, let me just show you what I've been doing. So I did a video making some ephemera for these Whimsical Girl journals and I had made several pieces so I had to make more of each piece because I'm doing six journals. So this one I had done with a mask and if you didn't see that video I stamped the girl on the tag then stamped her again on a scrap paper and laid, cut it out, laid it here and then stamped my journaling stamp over it and then when I take her off there's no lines on her. And I have four of these um, Oh, I keep forgetting what these, what this is called, Faith, Illustrated Faith. So I have four of these girls, so I did four of them. So save your, if you do this, save your masks, because you've taken the time to cut them out. So until they're falling apart, I just put them right in my little case. So if I want to do a technique like that again, I already have the masks saved. So I had a variety of shapes of tags that I had cut with my Cricut. These are all... Cricut cut tags. So I finished uh, six of these and I'm going to leave these black and white because there's plenty of color in this journal, in these journals. Another piece that I made was this one with a uh, scrap of manila file folder. So I did some more, just stamped out the girl and then I stamped her again on the patterned papers just enough so I would have the skirt on this one and the bodice on this and then the boots on this so I can cut those out. I can do that while I'm visiting with my daughter. So I just stamp them and I will cut them and glue them. And I'll probably put some color around the edge of the tag. I'll just do some sort of colored edge like I did on this. And I made some more of these and again I stamped and cut out my girl. I prepared all of the backgrounds. I didn't have enough of the pieces with this tab on it so I used other pieces of the folder and then just traced around the tab and cut it out. But the backgrounds are all ready and all of the images are stamped. I just have to cut them out and glue them on. So we got that one ready. Oh, there's another one of the tags. <clears throat> and now I am doing this tuck spot where I had stamped her. Well, I had stamped one of these on, a, on the video and just left it. I said I would probably color it in. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have them all stamped. I stamped the girl and then this flower and then this piece with and added a number to it. So all I'm doing is coloring now. So I had used my gelatos for this um, and the only reason I'm changing now to my watercolor crayons is because I have a larger variety of colors. I don't have very many colors of gelatos. So I'll have to look into getting some more because I do want to use these more. Um, but I did use these for her dress and her hair. I mixed a couple of colors for the hair. And I think her her skin and shoes and the flower I used the crayons for. So I'm just going to switch to using the crayons right now. Although I still have some gelato color here, the ones that I mixed for the red hair. So I'll continue using that for the hair. I did that here. The colors I used were the red, which is I'm trying to find the name of the color and I can't. It's not on here. But anyway, it's just pretty much basic red. And I think I probably used this one. And I added a little yellow on top. My hands, you can tell I've been playing with color. Because I always get messy when I do that. So, I have my watercolor crayons. And the covers... Uh, the Cori Dantini fabric has a lot of peach tones in it. 
I don't really have a peach colored crayon. Well, there's this one, but I think this is what I used for her flesh tone. Um, but I think I will try to mix orange and whatever this color is. This is Blush Blossom. This might actually be a good color for her skin tone. So I'm just going to, you can't see it, I'm going to mix on this. See, see what happens. I'm experimenting here. got my spray I'll just spray it and this is a water brush it's got some other red because I just had done her hair still might be a little bit too orange that looks a little more peachy Of course, you could use whatever kind of media you have. You could use watercolor pencils or just colored pencils. You could use watercolors, acrylics, but they they would be more um, they'd be less transparent. I like the transparent look of watercolors. Or you don't have to color them in at all. A lot of mine, I'm leaving the other. The other pieces I'm leaving black and white. So when you have to do six of each item, it takes a while. I've been up here for a, a good while putting these pieces together. So I went to work today with my new piece of equipment and it was a challenge and it wasn't my fault either. You know, I am technologically challenged big time and I figured if there was going to be a problem it would be on my end but it just it wouldn't um, open for me to use it wouldn't sink it just kept saying it was sinking forever and ever and ever I called my supervisor and she said it was a problem nationwide yesterday which I didn't work yesterday and it appeared to be continuing today for certain people. So since I didn't use mine yesterday, it was a problem for me today. I'm hoping that it won't be a problem when I go back to work on Monday or Tuesday or whatever day I'm going to work. So it took me half an hour. I was at work for half an hour before I was actually on the clock. Although I did correct that when I was able to because I, you know, I'm not going to work for half an hour and not get paid. So that was a bit frustrating, but I'm going to use some of this uh, Mellow Moss. These are Stampin' Up! watercolor crayons, so they have the same names as the um, Stampin' Up! colors. Just clean my brush off on this. So anyway, I did get my work done. And then I, I had had dinner with my parents last night. I just went to their house and we ordered pizza because I hadn't visited them in a while. Which is, you know, shame on me because they live so close. But we had a good visit and uh, then I <laughs> realized today's his birthday. Today's my dad's birthday. So I bought him the new Vince Gill. I, I don't know if it's new. i would never seen it before, but we'd just been talking about country music because he's a huge country music fan. Loves Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard and a lot of them. Um, but we had just been talking about that documentary that I saw. He hadn't seen it, but I told him a lot about it. And so we'd been talking about various country artists and uh, I went looking for something for his birthday and I saw this Vince Gill CD that was rather new. So I got that for him and got him a nice card and I went back up to his house today. They were surprised to see me again when I was just there last night. 
But I gave him his present. He was very pleased with it. And uh, I think he was going to go listen to it as soon as I left. I stayed there for about an hour and visited with him. Came home and had my lunch and then came up here and began working. I didn't want to do a video while I was doing the same thing that I had already done, just making duplicates. So I just kept on doing that until I got to the point where I could color this one. Um, but it's pretty close to the time my daughter's going to come over. So I'm spending quite a bit of time. There's only one signature in each um, journal, and I don't even have the covers done. I only have one cover done. So, you know, I was thinking these journals would be rather quick, but I'm spending a lot of time on the ephemera, so they're not rather quick. I'm going to take this one, which is, what did I say, Blush Blossom, and color her skin with this. Yeah, this is better than the other one I used because that one's more yellow. So while I bought my dad hit the Vince Gill CD, I picked up a CD for myself because I grew up listening to Johnny Cash. I, I'm not. I'm going to say I am not a huge country fan. I do like some of it. But I gained a new appreciation for it by watching that um, documentary. But I still don't want to listen to the old twangy stuff. But, like I said, my dad was a, a big Johnny Cash fan, and so I grew up listening to Johnny Cash and just kind of took it for granted. That's what I heard all the time and didn't really think about it. You actually got to see Johnny Cash in concert and Ronnie Millsap who, I don't even know what songs Ronnie Millsap sings. But, um, so I saw a double CD of The Essential Johnny Cash or something like that. And I read the titles and there were a lot of them that I remembered listening to when I was a kid. So I got that just for fun. And I've been listening to it while I have been crafting up here and it was... It's really good. There's a lot of songs that I remembered hearing in my youth and uh, hadn't thought about again. So it was, I've been enjoying that. I've got this tan color uh, terracotta earth elements. Really rust. That's what it's called. Really rust. And I'm going to do her shoes in that, I guess. It's going to take me a while to get five of these done. Or six of these. I've already got one done. Put a little of the terracotta in there to make it look shadowed because those are recessed pleats. And now some color for the flowers. This one is called Garden Green. You could just get an inexpensive pan of watercolors and do this.
guess that's enough green. Um, some pink. I can't tell you the name of that one. The paper came off. some of that orange that I used for her dress on some of these. And I want a little red for that arrow right there. This one is called Riding Hood Red. Now I'm just going to take this pink one and scrap paper here. And then just go around the edge. Do one edge at a time so it doesn't set up on me or whatever. I think. I don't know. I don't I think it'll still run. I don't think you have to do it at a certain time frame, but just in case. I just want to smear that, bring it into the piece. It's pretty wet. I squeezed my brush and so a lot of water came out so it won't be that dark when it dries. That's not all color, that's wet, wet manila folder. Now I had said um, yesterday when I made, when I decorated the large belly bands by gluing on one of these pretty ladies, I said that there was only going to be one belly band in each journal, but I should have said only one of the large ones. I do have smaller ones that I, I printed them smaller because it's an Artsology design team project and I should include more than one Artsology image in the journals, don't you think? I'm sure Deb thinks so. So there will be. I don't, I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to use the small ones, because I haven't really taken the time to think about it. And they may be used as actual belly bands, which is what they're supposed to be. OK, so this one's done. running out of water here. Oh no. There's lots of water in there. Just want to bring it into the uh, card more, I think. I don't want it to look so edgy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just just on the edge. I'm trying to blend it into the card. All right. Take my jacket off. 
and that one's done. So uh, she should be here any minute. I'm just going to keep working until she comes. I have the two colors of gelato on this block and it was dried. You could probably see it was dried but I've just added some water and mixed it up again. So I'm going to go ahead and color as many hairdos as I can while I still have that on there. These are stamps by Julie Nutting. Um, what company does them? Prima. But Julie Nutting is the artist that does these stamps, these images. And then this one, Dina, is that a Dina Wakely? You know, I forgot. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, actually, it's a... Oh, I got it here somewhere. It's this. It's not Dina Wakely. It's Carabelle Studio. Just in case you're wondering where I got these really cool stamps. Some of you commented, a lot of you commented on these lady stamps. So um, they are, like I said, they're by Prima, by Julie Nutting. And I got mine at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I could get them on sale sometimes, but I'm sure if you look on Amazon or Prima, I'm sure you'd find them. Just look for, just type in Julie Nutting Stamps, N-U-T-T-I-N-G, and you should be able to find them. be able to get them all. Now I can't remember if she said she was coming at 4 or 4.30. I was thinking it was 4 and it's 5 after now. But She's bringing me some chicken gravy. I think with chicken in it. Her husband likes to make chicken and biscuits. He doesn't make it the same way I do. When I make chicken and biscuits, I cook a whole roasting chicken and of course use the broth to make the gravy and then make homemade biscuits. But I'm not sure how he does it. I think he uses chicken breasts and cuts it up and I don't know what he uses to make the gravy because you don't get a whole lot of broth when you're just using chicken breasts. But anyway, he likes to do that, and so she's bringing me some. And all I'll have to do is make the biscuits to go with it. My dad is 84 today. When I was over there last night, I know my mom has migraines quite a bit and she had a headache last Sunday and still on Monday. So I asked her how she was. She said she was doing better. She still still had some mild headaches, I guess, in the past days. But I asked my dad, who has congestive heart failure and diabetes. I said, how are you doing, Dad? <laughs> he said, I'm ashamed to say that I feel pretty good most days. <laughs> he can't complain like most of the old folks that live in their apartment building, I guess. 
which makes me happy. Should have used that red to paint those arrows. What was I thinking? Okay, she's not here yet. I'm going to keep going. I don't know if you still want to hang out with me, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go back in and add some more orange. I'm going to need a lot of it for all those dresses. And yellow. thinking about stamping her on printed cardstock and or printed paper like I did the other one and cutting out the pieces but I didn't know if I wanted to do this many pieces because it's a color block dress and doing it six times I don't know if and it's taking me a while to paint them but I think it might have taken me longer to stamp and cut out and glue So I hope the journal looks um, cohesive because there's all different techniques in this journal. I was wondering if I should have done all of the uh, ephemera pieces with the same technique, either you know stamped and pieced or painted but not both. I don't know. They're junk journals, right? It's supposed to have a variety of stuff. Look how different each piece looks, the colors. That one's got, that's, this one's definitely more yellow. Maybe I'll throw in some pink. doesn't look any more pink. I'm going to take my mom to the mall on Monday so we can watch the Downton Abbey movie. They had it at the little theater in my town, the Sear Theater. On a special day they did an event where it was a ladies, ladies movie day and you could pay one price for a ticket and popcorn and drink. And I don't know what the advantages were. They must have had, you know, they do special event things like that sometimes but I didn't really pay attention to when and I've been so busy that I just kind of let it go by so it's not at the Sayre Theater anymore so now we have to go up to Elmira to see it but that's okay because they have it costs more but they have the big recliner seats So I offered to take my mom up there because she loves Downton Abbey. And Maleficent is playing at my local theater. So I offered to take her to one or the other. And she said she'd rather see Downton Abbey. So I might have to see if my daughter can go to Maleficent with me because I definitely want to see that one. If not, I'll just go by myself. I can do that. I know you're watching me do the same thing over and over, but I'm hoping the chit chat is helping. <laughs> oh, I should probably just stop the video. <laughs> but 
I figured she'd be here by now. Check my phone and see what time she said. Yep, she said four ish, and it is almost quarter after. It's okay, I need to get this stuff done. Marguerite Miller had a good question she put on the, must have been the Vintage Glue Books and Pages Facebook group. What craft tool are you missing right now? <laughs> One that you have, but you can't find it. What a good question. <laughs> there were many varied answers. We're usually all missing something at one, at any given time, aren't we? It was interesting to read the answers on that. Quite a few people said they were missing their mojo. And that happens to all of us, too. Okay, so we got that done on all of the girls. Now I'll do some green in the middle. used mellow moss but where is it it's this one this one is always artichoke let's try that one just for something different may have used too much water I'm going to add a little more green to that. Maybe you're crafting along with me. I hope so. I'd like to know. Let me know if you're crafting with me and what you're working on. Oh, I forgot to do the belt on some of these. I'll get a different marker. That one is really wet. Back to the green.
So I think I said I'm, I feel like I, I should be getting near the end of cleaning, you know, cleaning and organizing and de-stashing in my room, but it seems like progress is crawling as I have so many things to go through. Feels like I'm never going to be done. And every time, you know, every week I think, I'm going to finish it this week. <laughs> I'm so close, I'm going to finish it. So right now, like I started on... I'm a, th I'm a methodical person. I kind of have to go in an order. So I started on the short wall when you come into my room. It's right there, right on the left. And I did that, everything on that wall, and I worked on this wall, and then around the next short wall. Even the short walls have a lot of stuff crammed in them, though. And now I'm on the other, the, the last wall. But as I go, I'm finding things that, you know, I don't want them in this place anymore, and so I set them aside. So I'm going to have to go back to the beginning and go through the stuff that I moved and have to figure out what I'm going to do with it or if I'm going to keep it and stuff like that. And then I have to go back and make sure everything is labeled. I want to label everything. And then maybe I'll actually do a room tour. Clean this off a little bit. Okay, now I want my blush blossom. Hardly shows up on there. Probably I should just stop this video instead of you watching me do the same thing over and over and over. And I've kind of run out of things to talk about. Tomorrow's Saturday and I don't think I have plans for anything. I don't have to work tomorrow. So maybe I can finish this room. <laughs> Okay, so you get the idea. I think this is the last piece of ephemera I have to duplicate five times too, so I am just going to shut off the video and continue this till my daughter comes, and hopefully I'll have time to come back tomorrow and show you what else I'm working on for these journals. Thank you for watching. Thank you for just hanging out with me, keeping me company while I craft, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.